told my editor-in-chief that if men can go uh, to the field, why not women? Despite participating enthusiastically in political and community life in the DRC, women hold few public decision-making positions, even though they are disproportionately affected by the civil wars and the resulting humanitarian crises that have plagued their country for more than 20 years. The women represent 56% of the DRC's population. In the National Assembly, you only have 44 female members of parliament out of 492. In the Senate, five women out of 108 senators. It's not necessarily lack of will to enter politics, it's more about opportunity. Women has to play an important role. With the conflict, women are the first victims. And, you know, to keep silence about the situation which is currently happening in Congo, it's just unacceptable. The future of Congo, the future of Africa is in the end of youth, of young people, and we have to work with both young people, men and women, to make sure that they can understand that they have to work hard to make sure that the situation in Congo can change.